Here we're given the polynomial function d of t equals eight t to the fourth minus 36 t to the third minus 20 t squared. We're asked what is the d intercept and what are the t intercepts. When using functions, the variables used are often not x and y like we're used to, but the process of finding the intercepts is the same. In general, if we have a function to determine the horizontal intercepts, often referred to as the x-intercepts, we set f of x equal to zero, or the function equal to zero, and solve for x. And to determine the vertical intercept, or the y-intercept, we set x equal to zero, or evaluate f of zero. So when we're asked to find the d-intercept, remember d of t would be equal to y, so this is the same as the y-intercept or vertical intercept, we're gonna set the input, in this case t equal to zero, and evaluate the function. So to find the d-intercept, we set t equal to zero, or the input equal to zero. So we'd have d of zero equals eight times zero to the fourth minus 36, zero to the third minus 20, zero squared. So this is equal to zero. So if d of zero equals zero, this tells us our d-intercept is the origin so the coordinates are zero, zero. To find the t-intercepts, this will be the same as finding the x-intercepts. We're gonna set y, or in this case, the function equal to zero, and solve for t. So we're gonna set the function d of t equal to zero, and solve for t. So we're gonna solve the equation, zero equals eight t to the fourth minus 36 t to the third minus 20 t squared. Luckily this is factorable. We start by factoring out the greatest common factor, which in this case would be 4t to the second, leaving us with 2t squared minus 9t minus 5. Even though our leading coefficient here is 2, we can still factor this. Factors of 2t squared are 2t and t. We want the factors of negative five, so that the sum of the inner and outer product is equal to negative nine t. So I'll put a factor of negative five here, or minus five, and a plus one here. We have negative 10t plus one t, that is equal to negative nine t. So this is factored correctly. Now we need to set each factor equal to zero and solve for t. So we can see here t is equal to zero from these two factors. If we set 2t plus one equal to zero, let's subtract one on both sides, divide by two, so we have t equals negative one half. And then t plus five is equal to zero when t equals five. So we have three t intercepts. The other points zero, zero, negative one half zero, and five, zero. Remember, for the t-intercepts, the y-coordinate, or in this case, the d-coordinate, is equal to zero each time. Let's go ahead and verify our work by analyzing the graph of our function. This isn't a great window for our graph because remember we said the horizontal intercepts, or the t-intercepts, were negative one-half, zero, and positive five. We can't really tell right here there are two t-intercepts. And we also said the d-intercept was the origin, which we've already highlighted here. I hope you found this helpful.